Now we're going to learn how to get OpenGL and GLUT set up on Windows, and we're going to be using Visual C++ Express. It's an IDE where we can edit and run our C++ programs. Uh, you can use a different IDE if you want, but I'm going to show you how to get it set up in Visual C++ Express. Um, it's available for free online, so the first thing you'll want to do is go and download it. And I have links to the download site on my website, but I'm just going to do a Google search to find this download site. And here you want to download Visual C++ Express, and it'll also tell you to download the Microsoft Platform SDK. And it might say something about it being for Windows Server. That's okay, it's for any modern version of Windows, so don't worry about that. And you want to download those two and install them somewhere on your hard drive. And after that, we're going to get OpenGL. So, again, this is available. This link that I'm going to go to is available on my website. It's um, the OpenGL installer, so you want to download the installer and run it and install OpenGL on your computer. And you also want to download Glut. You'll notice there are two downloads right here, the binary and the source. You want the binary, this top one. So download the zip file and extract it somewhere on your hard drive. Now I put it in C colon backslash right here. And when you look at the zip file, they'll all be in the same directory, all of the files that are in the zip file. But we need a special directory structure. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to make an include directory and a lib directory. I've already done this. Inside the include directory you want gl, and inside gl you want to put glut.h, which came in the zip file. And then inside the lib directory you want to put all the rest of the files that came in the zip file. And then you want to make sure that Windows knows where all of these are. So you go to start control panel and you find system and you go to advanced environment variables and you want to change the path environment variable so we're going to change that you'll notice that it's a bunch of directories separated by semicolons and we're going to add a few to the end so I've already done this but you will want to add a semicolon and then put the directory where you installed the SDK and then a backslash and then lib and then a semicolon and then the directory where you extracted glut with a lib at the end again semicolon and the place where you installed OpenGL backslash lib then you just click OK when you're done and restart your computer so that Windows will notice those changes so then we have to get Visual C++ Express set up, so I'm going to run it. Uh, you'll notice over here that it's complaining that I haven't registered. That's okay, you can register, it's free. Uh, within 30 days of, that you download it, you'll have to register. So we're going to go to Tools, Options, because we have to set up a couple of things. You go to Projects and Solutions, and BC++ directories. Now we have to tell it the directories of all these places where we just installed things. So we're going to go to the directories for include files and add all of the directories. So you'll have the directory you extracted glut backslash include, the directory for OpenGL backslash include, and the directory for SDK backslash include. Now I've already put these here you'll want to click right here, New Lime, and type them in. And you also have to change the library files directories by adding these three entries right here, which are the same as the ones for the include files, but with backslash lib instead of backslash include. And then you'll click OK. So we have everything set up. So we're going to run a test program to make sure that everything's OK. So we're going to make a new project. You're going to have to do this every time you want to open and edit a program from my website. 
So we want to make a Visual C++ program. The project file location will just find where on my hard drive I put the test project. And I put it right here. So there it is. And for the project name, I'm just going to put cube. You can put whatever you want. And then click Next. We need to change the project type from Windows Application Project to Console Application Project. Click Next, and nothing's changed here. We just click Next and click Finish. And here's our project. Um, you'll notice it has the make file, file in it. Um, we don't need this for Windows. It's actually just for Unix-based operating systems like Linux and Mac. But it's okay. We can just leave it there. Windows will ignore it or rather Visual C++ will ignore it. And now we're going to go to Project Properties and go to Configuration Properties and click on Configuration Manager. So we need to change the configuration from Debug to Release. So then click Close. And also we need to change right here where it says Output Directory. Um, we need to change it to be blank by backspacing release. What it what it'll do is it'll set the it'll make it put the executable in the directory where the program is. So that way when in C++ it looks for a file, in this case it'll need a bitmap file, it'll look for it in the directory where the executable is. So we need to make sure it's the right directory. So now we're going to build the project by going to build build cube. So there are a couple of errors here. Uh, I'm going to go through them by clicking go to next message. And this first one, that's actually the wrong one. We want to look at the second one in glut.h. Um, it looks like on this line that glut is trying to define its own exit function using some kind of weird C++ stuff. Um, but the problem is that this is a built-in function that's in stdlib. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment this line out and I'm going to point glut.h to the normal C++ exit function. And I'll save this file. And then I'll try building again. So it's building. And there were a couple of warnings. Now, I'll tell you how you can correct these warnings. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but if you want the warnings to go away, you should go to Project Cube Properties or whatever the project name is, properties, and click on linker. And where it says enable incremental linking, you want to change that from yes to no. And then click OK. So now if we build the project again, you'll notice there were no warnings this time. Again, that was purely optional. You don't have to fix the warnings if you don't want to. So now we'll run the program by going to debug, start without debugging. And here it is. Pretty cool looking. It's our test program. It's working fine. So when we're done with this, we'll click Escape to quit it. And to get out of this console, we'll just press a key. And so our test program worked. And we've installed OpenGL and Glut. And everything's working.